Hello dear friends, welcome to this new episode of Research Aid and today I will talk on this uh, Elicit AI, it's one of the research assistant AI tools and many of you must be knowing about this Elicit, uh, it's a quite old tool and uh, it has a lot of features that your researchers are looking at. Now today I will specifically talk on a new feature that has been introduced into this Elicit AI though you can do uh, the research chats, find the papers, you can access data from PDFs and a lot more and some of the things I have already explored in a video on Elicit AI that's available in the channel. So today we'll talk upon a new feature that is to have a get a research report. Now Elicit AI introduced a concept of research report which in actually if I talk in a very general terms or simple terms it actually you can get a systematic review or a meta analysis on a certain theme on a certain research question on a certain uh, problem uh, with just a few clicks and in few minutes you will get a bunch of papers in a tabulated form on all those papers you will even have their main data and the main results. Uh, you know incorporated into that table simultaneously without any long haul. So what you will do is that look at this the box here that is asking that ask a research questions. So what you will do it you can just write a prompt here. So for example I'm writing a prompt that so this is a prompt that I have written that what is the current evidence on the role of this magnesium sulfate in the management of uh, acute asthma. As soon as you start writing this prompt and below here this illicit AI will suggest that how good your research question is. Is it a short, you know, an appropriate, it's a good research question, poor research question or certain things. That here it is showing me that it's a good research question and it is giving option that you, I can consider adding other elements for better results. It's just like the filter options we used to do in Systema, uh, in PubMed and other research uh, databases. Like it is uh, giving option that you can add some specificity, so you can add a population or outcome, just a kind of a peak or research question. So what I can do is I can make it more specific that what is this evidence of this MGSO4 in management of acute asthma. Now I have added that's a role of intravenous this magnesium sulfate. Now if I click on this research report it will start generating a research report. Now remember this is a free version of Elicit. You have the paid version or pro version. You have now this option of starting a systematic review and you can just build a systematic review with few of these clicks. But this research report is also a same kind of work. I will see how. Click on this. Uh, as I clicked on this get a research report and you have to write your prompt again here. It's, I have written that uh, what's the current evidence on use of this IV magnesium sulfate in managing acute asthma and below it's telling me the uh, strength of my paper. That's a good paper and I can actually uh, use some other things. But for the simplicity I'm just now going here clicking on this. Now, as you as, uh, give the instructions to write a research report, it will ask you that what kind of answer do you want to read? Do you want uh, just a fast response that will just screen the top 50 papers on that subject and extract from data from up to 10 papers? If you want a balanced, that will screen more than 500 papers and extract data from 25 papers. But that option is uh, for the plus that's on paid version. Another you can comprehensive answer then it will go through the 500 papers and extract data from 40 papers. Here the free version I'm only uh, will get a data from 10 papers click on generate. So see it has started the process that this was our uh, theme that IV magnesium sulfate acute asthma management and hit here status it is first is gathering those 50 papers it found the 50 papers now it will screen the papers then it will extract the data and gender generate a report just like a systematic review or a review paper we just got initially some papers then we screen them out and extract the data and write our manuscripts so this is a kind of a same so currently it is screening the papers and here you can see below the tables are being formed criteria are being matched so the process of data extraction done now it is generating the report now this is assembling the methodology that this used now it is synthesizing the findings typically what we do in the uh, systematic reviews and now this is just drafting your apps now it is getting your citations so see this uh, you know uh, AI takes some time to generate that final report out of uh, because it took few minutes for all the steps but generating a report it is taking estimated five minutes as it's getting those citations 
and just uh, structuring all those things so you can see uh, it is background all that processes all that rigor and all those steps are being carried out that we you know do in our usual uh, doing any research and uh, conducting and systematic reviews and then drafting the results and then writing the manuscript so here it is it has generated a report on this IV magnesium sulfate and acute asthma management and you can just literally see it looks like a, a published manuscript in this title and here is what they did was an IV magnesium sulfate 1.2 to 2 grams which is a typical dose effectively it given you a just two line summary that this dose of IV magnesium sulfate effectively improves the lung function and reduces the hospitalization in this severe in the severe acute asthma with a less consistent benefits in milder cases and manual side effects so here you have got a full abstract i'm not going in detail but you can see that abstract looks like a very well written and it looks like you are reading next uh, abstract of a published paper then you have got methods and they said that like just like a systematic review or your article they say that they got their analyzed 10 papers from an initial pool of 50 papers using a seven screening criteria and then you can see their methods that how did they search the papers how the screening was done what criteria was used and say that population age was more than 18 years and they just this was just like a prisma diagram of this whole method of what was the intervention they used this this is actually was using the pico research question that my intervention was iv magnesium sulfate i root was iv root strut design was either an rct a system or metal other outcomes so the thing a lot of things i'm not going in detail but you can see it seems like a very well written paper actually here is data extraction how did they extract the data study designs then they looked for these rcts double blind placebo control trials multi-center trials single center trial then they look the patient characteristics that what ages genders and then ask some other things the intervention is specific so they looked a lot of things and this is how they hold uh, they looked for some primary outcomes to hospital rates lfts lung function measurements breathing scores and then they extract the data there was sec key numerical statistics they looked at was the odds ratio confidence intervals p values and they'll also look for any results on this is actually a table of uh, study characteristics just like we make the one in systematic reviews like here are the names of the study with the years here the, what are the study designs what are the sample of each study you got this if you are here and if you go here these are the severity criteria that was used in each of uh, these papers like that how much magnesium sulfate dose was given yeah this is a, this is a breakup of uh, different papers and then clinical effects they look for, see they are making this clinical effects for all these papers and then those outcome years and this is the effect sizes actually for each paper how well and comprehensive this is clinical influence significances and other those things and if you go further you can see this key findings from this primary outcomes that hospital admission statistical significances clinical significance this is very beautiful that they, we have written the statistical and clinical significance and then this safety profile across each paper and there are key findings and implementation consideration that is a clinical implications so this is a very well written paper that you can use uh, for if you are looking for the evidence on a certain drug certain topics and a mechanism you are preparing a, a evidence-based uh, presentation for any presentation in your topic in your ward and other things not only for medical for any purposes and for any other things and below here is a list of all the uh, references actually that the, okay if you need all these references you can take them download as a bib file as a risk file download a txt say for example if i'm downloading a bib file of this so you got this risk file here and if i i can open this file into my zotero library or in your end note then what you can uh, do is this is your report is generated and you can save it as a pdf as a bib text pdf so if i want to save it as a pdf this can be saved as a pdf if you want a detail of each of this still how did they get the papers you can click on these and if you want how did they screen you can see the details here so that's it if you want to share uh, this link and all this work you can click on this share option and you can share into your gmail and you can send this link so everything is available here so you can see that you can do a lot of things in this way by generating these reports 
actually that make a lot of work easier for you i hope that this video was useful and i hope that you will use this fantastic feature of the lct ai thank you